Well, hello again and welcome to another in the series of amazing puzzle solving technique where this is a rather simple question but it can be very difficult for many because it has some minuses and it adds some sequences that does not have regular movement. So I'm going to show you the formula. First, 11D, 11 numbers are in the diagram. 9B, 9 numbers will be visible. There will be no missing number. So I can simply put a dash. And there will be one reject number. So let us go straight into solving the puzzle. Let us look at this ring. It starts here, 2, goes to 4. Third term is missing. Fourth term is 11. Now I'm going to use the formula. The fourth term, which is 11, subtract the first term, 2 over 3, should equal the third term, x minus the second term, 4. I can simply say 11 take away 2 is 9 over 3 equal x minus 4. Alright. 9 over 3 is 3 equals x minus 4. I am going to put this right here but I'm going to flip it over x minus 4 equals 3. I want my x to be on the left hand side. So now I say x minus 4 plus 4 equals 3 plus 4. x minus 4 plus 4 is x equals 7. So I do not leave out any stages when I'm teaching because many children will have to follow and I think many people make mistake by doing the shortcut there should be no shortcut in mathematics so this missing term should be seven and i get rid of seven over there now analyzing for more simple clues i see minus five to fifteen so minus five plus fifteen that would be ten ten plus two that would be twelve so this three terms in this sector Add to 12, the answer should be 12, so the only number you could put there is 0. And you get rid of one of the zeros. Now, for this term, first term is 0, second term is missing, third term is 11, fourth term is 80. Now, this is a more difficult one, but I'm still gonna race through it but i won't be leaving out any of the stages you can pause the tape you can rewind it but i'm gonna go through and show you how simple we can use a a formula to get the missing number i can say the fourth term is 18 subtract the first zero over three equal the third term 11 take away the second term so 18 subtract zero would be 18 over 3 equal 11 minus x. 18 over 3 would be 6. So it would be 6 equals 11 subtract x. Alright? Now, I'm going to transfer this to here. But I'm going to use put the right hand side first. And the left hand side second. Because in an, it's an equation. It should remain the same. So it's 11 take away x equals 6. Now I want to get rid of this 11, so I write 11. This is a positive 11, so I write 11 minus x. Since it's a positive 11, I add minus 11 equal 6. I add the same minus 11 to this side. So it would be positive 11 minus 11 that would be 0 so the only thing remain is minus x equal minus 5 so minus x equal minus 5 I'm gonna 
and multi I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1. Two negative make a positive, x times 1 is x. Two negative make a positive, 5 times 1 is 5. So x equals 5. So this is mathematics. When you are teaching, you do not leave out any of the stages. Let the children follow. And when they are ready, if they want to leave out any stages, up to them. But I do not leave out any of the stages. I go from top to bottom. So 5 should be the missing number, the missing term in that. And I look over here and I take out 5. There is no missing numbers in the diagram, so all the numbers should be here. This second sector should add to 50. Now, 10 plus 5 is 50, plus 4 is 19, so I definitely would have to use a minus number somewhere here to carry it down to 50. So if 10 and 5 is 15, I don't need this 4, so I'm going to put minus 4 here. And look for minus 4. I can still use an equation to do it, but you know, for time, but you will understand as we go along. Now, using our wisdom with this, we can still use the formula, but using our wisdom, start minus 5. Minus 4 x minus 2. This is a simple straightforward one. The missing term must be minus 3. And I look for minus 3 over here and get rid of minus 3. Now, I don't think any more simple clues are there. The only thing that went in our favor. We have reduced the numbers over here. We have now less numbers to work with. The only thing is there should be a missing number, a reject number over here. So analyzing the puzzle, you see this is 15, 10, I see 5 and 0. 27, but for time's sake, I'm going to choose 5. And 0. 0 and 5. Now, adding the third sector. 11 plus 5, that would be 16. Plus 7. 23. Take away 3, so that would be 20. Get rid of 20 over there. This fourth sector says 18 plus 0, which is 18, plus 11, 29, plus minus 2, really is minus 2. 9 subtract 2 is 7. So 27 should go right here. Get rid of 27. So the only number the puzzle did not use was 29. So if you should analyze this puzzle, you see that all the rotations are sequences that obey one rule. Minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2. That's a sequence. 2, 4, 7, 11. That's also a sequence. 12, 15, 20, 27. That's also a sequence. And all sequences obey one rule rule but this is still in a very easy stage as we go along we will understand it more better thank you very much until next time see you